Hey team, it's David. Hey, I wanted to share with you how to set up a new feature on the Team Iron Cowboy site called Integrated Zones. Um, we're excited about rolling this out. What it allows you to do is to actually see in your training plan each day, not only the zones and the breakdown of the workout like you're accustomed to seeing right now, your zone one, your zone two, your zone three, and how we uh, specify the uh, duration in, in each of those intensities, but will also allow you to add the actual output, for example, when we say 15 minutes in bike zone one, it will actually it'll actually put out there what your zone one is for the bike. Um, or if it says uh, one minute intervals on zone five, it'll tell you what those zone five intervals should be at. And you have complete control over whether you want that to be heart rate or power uh, or pace in, uh, in the case of integrated zones. So let me walk you through how we can set that up. You'll see on the screen right now, I've got a, uh, one of our test users, uh, a test user called Amy Bennett that I'm logged in as right now. Amy is loaded with the 70.3 level two plan. You can see uh, she's got the uh, view that you would normally see, your Saturday, Saturday workout, your Sunday workout, uh, Sunday workout number two. It lists the breakdown of the workout. Um, but we want to turn on integrated zones to have this be uh, more detail on exactly what those zone one and zone two and zone three paces actually mean. Um, so to do that, to turn on and start to activate your integrated zones, the first thing you want to do is to go and click on your name when you log in up here and uh, then your profile will pop up. We are going to edit your profile. And this is, of course, where you can uh, include all sorts of information about your profile. But you'll notice an option called Training Pace Zones near the bottom of your profile. It may be, it may be hidden like this. You want to expand that Training Pace Zones. And by default, you're going to be false. It's going to be off right now. We're going to have you turn that on. And you'll note that you have 15 total zones to work with right now. Five zones for each of the three disciplines. We have five for swim. We have five for bike. We have five for run. I've already pre-populated the, uh, the swim zones for, uh, for the test user Amy um, that I've manually put in here just to give you uh, a, uh, an idea of what this will look like and then we'll populate these other zones. But I'll go ahead and update Amy's profile. Now that I've turned on training paces, I'm going to hit update down here in the bottom. Now if I go back and load my training plan, training plan and view training plan, um, and look at my swim, Amy actually has two sections, uh, the normal section and, her, and the little test section. But go down to the swim workout now. Instead of saying just zone one, it actually includes her zone one pace. Instead of saying just zone three, it includes her zone three paces. So uh, it actually has uh, used the swim zone one and swim zone three and swim zone two as little tokens and then pulled the data from your from, from her profile to actually populate what those paces are. Now you note that we turned it on and for the run here and for the bike here, we don't have anything in those little brackets because we haven't populated those particular zones yet. So let's do that now. So I go back to my profile. We're going to edit that profile and we're going to add bike zones. Let's say we're going to use heart rate for bike zones. Now, how do I know what my zones are? My zone one, two, three, four, and five? Well, of course, we use the Team Iron Cowboy zone calculator. If you go to the main Team Iron Cowboy site, choose calculator and zone calculator, this screen will pop up where you can put in uh, all of your uh, zone inputs to determine your zones one through five. And I can uh, go over this in another video, but I think it's pretty self-explanatory. Um, that you'll, and this is included in the uh, intensity guidelines for triathlon and running. If you have questions about how you put this information in and how you determine determine your lactate threshold heart rate, how you determine your FTP, how you determine uh, your uh, best 400 and 200 swim times, you want to go into this intensity guidelines for triathlon and running. So assuming you've done that and assuming you've put all this information in, um, we then want to use this information to determine the zones for the bike. So let's say that our lactate threshold heart rate is 165 beats. The calculator will spit out these ranges for us. We have these nice ranges taken care of for us. So I'd go back to my profile and on bike zone one, I would go ahead and fill in that information, which for bike zone one, it's going to be 124 to 132. Bike zone two is 133 to 147. Bike zone three is 158 to 165. Bike zone four is 168 to 173. And bike zone five 
is 174 and higher. Now I want you to note, you can actually put whatever you wanted to in here. For example, I'm just putting in the, uh, the actual numbers, but if I wanted to, I could put in beats per minute, and I'll show you that in just a moment. But now that I've got these bike zones in there, I'm gonna go ahead and update. I'm gonna go back to my training plan. I'm gonna scroll down to the cycling workout, and sure enough now, in the cycling workout, we have zone one includes the actual the actual uh, front and back end of zone one. On the zone three or zone five intervals, it wants me to go 174 plus for my zone five. My bike zone two, 133 to 147. Now if you want to make it even more specific, we could include BPM in that number. If, you're, if you want to make sure you know exactly what it's talking about, we can go back to our profile, edit the profile, um, and I can actually change these bike zones and add BPM if I wanted to. Update that, reload the training plan, and now when we look at the bike, it's got the BPM included in there. So really, whatever you put into the uh, free text field on the zones will automatically represent itself whenever it attaches to a, uh, a zone that's part of the workout. Um, in fact, we don't even have to use the two symbol. If we wanted to, we could replace the two with a hyphen if you wanted to tighten this up a little bit you could put a hyphen in there as well. Let's do one more. As you, you know, our run zones still don't have anything in them. They're blank in these brackets. So I'm gonna go back to my profile and we'll add those run zones. And on the calculator, we've got our run zones um, based on the, uh, the data that I put in the calculator. Here's our zones one through five on the run zones. So we'll add those to our profile. Scroll down and our zone one is 950. In this case, I'm gonna use hyphens to 907. Run zone 2, 922 to 758. Run zone 3, 723 to 650. Zone 4, 644 to 614, and I'll go back and correct that, and make that a hyphen just to be consistent. And then our zone five is gonna be 613, down to 505. I'll update that. Let's go back to our training plan, scroll down and look at our run. And sure enough, in place of just zone one, we now have the actual speeds that we can accommodate for each of those zones. Now, if I wanted to use heart rate for run, that's no problem. I can go ahead and put in heart rate on those. If I want to use power for the bike, no problem. I would just replace these with power. So if I have a power meter and I want to use power instead, I would replace these with my power numbers, and I might even put watts here to specify that. And if I wanted to use heart rate, I would go back to the zone calculator. Let's say that my run heart rate, actually threshold, is 168. I let the calculator recalculate those values, and I can use heart rate instead of pace for the run zones instead. Now, you'll, you might have noticed that we only have five run zones for each of the disciplines, but on the calculator, we have seven if you include zone X and Y. And the reason is, is that it becomes more complex the more zones that we put in here. Um, and we also recognize that we don't want you to spend time in zone X and zone Y, except for very rare circumstances for half and full Ironman when you might spend a little bit of time in zone X. None of the workouts that we have for you are going to include time in zone X or zone Y. So we, we're not going to need to, to specify those within the integrated zones. If at any time you, you feel like the integrated zones aren't for you, no problem. You can change this to false. It'll save all of your data. We'll update that and go back to your training plan, and it will just revert back to the, uh, the training plan without any brackets, without any information in there. If I change my mind again, no problem. I can come in, edit my profile. It saved all that information. I can make it true. I'll update that. And then we have in the training plan, all of the integrated paces are back associated with each of its zone. So I hope that explains uh, integrated zones. If any questions, of course, you can email, email me, david at dwcoaching. Uh, dot com. You can uh, talk to me on the forums as well. And uh, we hope you like this, uh, this great new feature as part of Team Iron Cowboy. And we are really glad to have you 
uh, a member of the group. Thanks.